the coordinate plane is the link between algebra and geometry because we can plot graph based on algebraic equations in the coordinate plane and these graphs show us how the variables of the equation are related for example this graph is showing us that this is a straight line so what is the equation of the straight line here and how are the variables here that is y is equal to 2x plus 3 so here y and x are the variables which are related such that y is equal to 2x plus 3. And how we make this graph? We make a table where we write value of x and we put that value of x in this equation y is equal to 2x plus 3. Okay. For example, we can take the value of x as 0, 1 and 2. So, if I take value of x as 0, I substitute the value of x as 0 in the equation 2x plus 3. Like that only if I put x is equal to 1, then again I write 2 into 1 plus 3 and my value of y becomes 5. Okay. Again, if I put x is equal to 2, then my value of y becomes 2 into 2 plus 3, which is equal to 7. So, what is the final value now? For x is equal to 0, I got value of y as 3. For x is equal to 1, I got value of y as 5. And for x is equal to 2, I got value of y as 7. As we have the value of x and y together, we plot these three points putting the values of x and y in the graph. And then we have joined these three points to get one straight line here. So, this is the graph y is equal to 2x plus 3 which we have plotted using these points x and y. We can denote each point by x and y and this is known as a ordered pair. I will explain you what is ordered pair with an example. So, if you have x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 5 then you have to write these coordinates of x and y in the same order. You cannot write x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 1. Then you are wrong. Okay. You have to write the value of x in the place of x only and the value of y in the place of y only. That means you have to follow the order properly. Okay. In case you have y comma x, that is y is first and x is next, then you write the value of y first, then x. Okay, here in this case it is 5 comma 1. Okay, these pairs are that's why known as ordered pairs because you are following the order here. This coordinate system is named after the French mathematician René Descartes and it is often called as Cartesian plane or sometimes rectangular coordinate system. We can plot these ordered pairs on a real number line. Horizontal number line is called as x-axis. Vertical number line is called as y-axis. And the point where x-axis and y-axis meet are origin. And in the right hand side of your origin, we have positive numbers starting from 1. And in the left hand side of the origin have negative numbers like that only on the upper side of the x-axis we have positive numbers which goes on y-axis and below that that is below the origin which goes along the y-axis are negative numbers we have first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant respectively in a coordinate system here we can plot this point on the Cartesian plane which is a ordered pair x comma y. Here you can see that this point is actually the intersection point for x and y. These lines are coming from x axis and y axis which are perpendicular. The value of y is the distance between the origin to the point on y axis and the value of x is the distance between the origin to that point on x axis. Now let us try to take one example and plot the points on the Cartesian plane. Okay. Uh, say for example, we have this four points 0, 0, 0, 3, 
minus 1 comma 2 and uh, minus 3 comma minus 2. We want to plot these points on this Cartesian plane with x and y axis. So what we do here? The best trick is before starting to plot, just have an overview of the graph and have a rough idea about where these points will actually lie in this graph. Before plotting, the basics which you should know is that in the right hand side of the origin, you have the positive number line. In the left hand side of the origin, you have the negative number line. In the upper side of the origin, you have the positive number line and in the lower side of the origin, you have the negative number line. Which actually means that in the first quadrant, we have both points as positive points. In second quadrant, we have x point as negative and y will be positive. In the third quadrant, we will have both x and y points as negative points and in the fourth quadrant, we will have x positive and y negative. Okay? Now we can easily start plotting, right? Now 0, 0 is the first point which is the origin. We know that it is the point of intersection of x and y axis. So it is the middle point here which is a origin. Then we have the next point which is 0, 3. And because the value of x is 0 here, the point will just lie on y axis which is a 3 on y axis. Okay. Then we have this point uh, minus 1 comma 2. Here you can see that the value of x is a minus 1. So that should come in the left hand side of the origin. And the value of y is 2. It will go till 2. And uh, here you will have the point minus 1 comma 2. Then we have this fourth point minus 3 comma minus 2 which clearly says that both the points x and y are negative. So the point should lie in the third quadrant. So x value is uh, minus 3 and y value is minus 2. So the point comes out to be here. 